Hey everyone, um, it's Joe, Irfan, and Rizwan here, and we were just working on a little cool tool, but one of the things we need to do is set up a menu with submenus, and Irfan was asking Rizwan if he knew how to do that, and Irfan said no, so we thought, hey, let me hit record so we can share this with everybody here, so um, why don't you guys go ahead and start going. So, as you can see here that we have already a menu here, so... We want to create a sub menu on the tool. So if I run this tool and uh, here, if I click, so it will show the menu. So one, two, three, they are just returning false, doing nothing else. So there is no action defined for any menu. So, so right now I'm going to create a sub menu. So this is just a variable and uh, then I will do a menu so it is it is just a menu another menu and then i will put some actions to it so add and uh, the name of the action is sub one and it will also do, the action will be returning false so so all so we can assign any action in there and I can just here do this. So this preference tool will call this sub menu, oh, my sub menu as well. Yeah, sorry for the spell mistake. Okay, so if I click here, so you can see here the two has another menu and it has also a delay kind of. So we are working on delays. Sub sub one. So this is how you add sub menus and then again I can create a sub menu and then I can attach another action like here. And I can assign to another, I can call here another sub, sub menu. So, and it will also have another tab. So I can create a tree of menus just like that. I hope it will be helpful for you. Hey, Irfan, one thing that I remember from V1 that drove me batty was the order of these matter. Is that the same in V2? Now, uh, actually, order doesn't matter right now because we are creating tree by ourselves. So, so the one part, all we have, we can define all of our menus here, and we just have to add them as as we go where we want to add them. So you're so saying here, you could re you could put the the lines thirteen through fifteen before the sub menus are created. Um, actually. So sub sub menu is here. So if I uh, I I am going to refer it here, so this should already be explained at least. Or I can define this line later. So I can move this down. So you can see. So I am adding them even after the showing of the GUI. So yeah, I have to disable that line because I haven't defined the sub sub menu. So if I click here, and you can see to have the action. So we are putting it here. The only the things that matter is the sub menu, the variable should be assigned first. And then at any stage we can add. And we can also there are so many commands to, for the menus so we can we can rename them we can check them we can uncheck them so we have rename method for menus so we tell it old name and we tell it new name and uh, new name and we have Google and check uncheck 
the toggle will toggle the checks and then there is an icon we can assign any menu to our icon and we we give it a path for the icon so it's it's very useful if we use the menus in our scripts and uh, we can assign the accent the good thing is unlike the v1 we can define our menus as we want so there is no only we can we have to take care of the we are referring to a menu so if if i create this menu after it, it our script will tell it this variable has not defined yet so because we are defining it later so right our script executes by one by one step so the line one line two and so on so it is telling me sub menu is not defined yet and i'm assigning it to three so what I can do is move this up or I can just move it down here and it will just work fine. So so this is a, this is a plus point for V2. Yeah. Yeah, the order. You're right. The order we we have to define the order of the menu, so how we add them, one, two, three. So so you were right about the order, so what we have to do take care of this order yeah the order matters so as we go add one by one we have to take care of the action we're gonna add to the menu so, so we have to take care of the order awesome all right well uh thanks for that little tutorial that's in the menus are really cool they're so easy to do they're i think way underutilized in a lot of tools that we've done thanks for one we do have a great GUIs are easy course in V2, so if you're interested, check that out. It's a you get a double your money back guarantee. Have a great day. Cheers.